If you want to work with datas in tables, what you can simply do is start typing in the data first. So here, let's say I want to uh, create a price point, a price range of gaming consoles. So what I want to do is uh, create the price ranges. So I'm going to say I'm going to create a price range of gaming consoles. So I'm sim simply going to say gaming consoles right here, gaming consoles. And since this is not visible, I'm going to zoom it out over here. So I'm going to go into view right here and I'm going to say selected object. So it zooms all the way in. Over here, I'm going to say that this is a Nintendo Switch right here. This is the gaming console Switch, uh, Switch right here. I'm going to say that this is PlayStation uh, 4 over here. And this one, I'm going to say it is Xbox One. So I'm going to say Xbox uh, One right here. And now what I want to do is I want to add in, uh, th this is showing that it's, it's a error. So I'm simply going to right click, change it to switch right there. So this is the gaming console and here I'm going to add in the price point. So this is the price right here. And you can see that there's an extra column on the top. I want to say that this is a name. So I just want to copy this out, control C, and I want to paste it out from here. So control V right here. And here I'm going to remove the price point and here I'm going to say it as gaming console itself and here name. So I got the data right there. So console name, uh, price, gaming, so Nintendo's and the console names right here. So console uh, name right here. So the for the price point for Nintendo Switch, I'm going to say that this is around $500. So dollar uh, 500. And for PlayStation 4, let me uh, keep it a bit expensive. For example, dollar, uh, dollar, six fifty. And for Xbox One, let me just say six hundred. So uh, this is going to be six hundred, just like that. So I got the data I want, uh, and it has been entered right there. And now I want to work with its formatting. In order to do that, I can go into the design section right here, and I can select any designs I want. For example, this one. And you can see that this is there. So big gaming console is here, but this is not the formatting I want. So I want a bit more simple formatting just like this or over here, a more yellowish design just like that. So that's too bright actually. So I'm going to select something else just like blue right here. Okay. So now I want to merge these two so I can go over here, select these two, go into layout and I can simply merge this out. So I'm going to merge this cell. I can also go over here and then center align this as you can see. So if I were to press center, you can see that everything has been uh, moved over to the center line. So I can also go over to home and center line this right there. I can see that the price is not the same color as this. So I want to change the color of the price as well. So you can see that this is not the one I want. So I can select both of these and I can go into uh, the design tab right here. And then I want to manually fill this up with this color right here. So I can manually fill it up. You can see that it has been applied and I bold it out. So I'm going to press control B right here. And I want to fill it up with a white color text. So I'm going to go into my home and I'm going to select white color right here. So over here, you can see that this is the gaming console and console name and price is here right here. And I'm going to change the color of the background as well. So I'm going to go into my layout. And let's say I want to right align this one. So right center align this one and left center align this one. All right. So left center align this one. So they are, they are all well aligned. And for this color, for the gaming console, let's say I want a different color uh, to be a set. So over here, let's say I'm going to add and fill or a light type of a um, of a color right there. I'm going to fill it up with the dark text. So I'm going to go over here and choose a dark text right here. There you go. Console name. I'm going to move it to the right just like that. So that is how you can work with formatting. So I can zoom out and you can see that the format has been made just like that. So I'm going to choose the color right here because it seems like it has not been filled properly. So fill it out without a border. Yeah, I forgot that all about it. No border, it's like that. And there you go. So border is got to be white right here. Line color, white and fill it out. All right. So fill it out with the white color All border. That's too much. Right. No border All border. Right, there you go. So you can see that I got my price points right there. Uh, 
just like that. So that is how you can work with table formatting inside of Microsoft Publisher. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.